Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, Alleluia. Welcome along to our prayers on this uh, Friday morning, the 22nd of May, uh, the day after Ascension. Uh, and so as we prepare on this 10-day journey toward Pentecost, uh, both our prayers and our readings this morning will be uh, prefiguring or preparing for the coming of the Holy Spirit, uh, particularly using the Thy Kingdom Come resources put out by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, Thy Kingdom Come is a global prayer initiative attempting to uh, remind us of God's grace in these times uh, and also to reach out in evangelism and to uh, pray for five people particularly uh, that they might come to know uh, and understand Jesus. So that's uh, our aim for this morning. Uh, well, our aim isn't to evangelize immediately five people, but to at least bring them to mind and ask God to do God's work. Anglican Prayer Book is where we begin. Uh, Friday morning prayers are on page 84, and our psalm this morning is Psalm 81, which you'll find on page 293, 293 for Psalm 81. Let us be still in the presence of God. Through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and shall be forever. Amen. Page 293 for Psalm 81. And let me pull that up on the screen. As always, I do encourage you to join with me uh, wherever you are praying from. Sing out with joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the hand drum, the tuneful harp with the lute. Blow the trumpet in the new moon and at the full moon on our festival. For this was made a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob which was imposed as a duty on Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I eased your shoulders from the burden, and your hands were freed from the load. You called to me in trouble, and I saved you. I answered you in the thundercloud, but put you to the test at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, if only you would listen. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship an alien God. I, the Lord, your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt, open wide your mouth and I shall fill it. But my people would not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, and that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon put down their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate me would cringe before me, and their fate would be sealed forever. 
but Israel I would feed with the finest wheat flour and satisfy them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our readings as we prepare for Pentecost. Then Moses said to the Israelites, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. He has filled him with divine spirit, with skill, intelligence, and knowledge in every kind of craft to devise artistic designs, to work in gold, silver, and bronze, in cutting stones for setting, and in carving wood in every kind of craft. And he has inspired him to teach both him, him and Aholiab, son of Ahishamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do every kind of work done by an artisan or by a designer or by an embroider in blue, purple and crimson yarns and in fine linen, or by a weaver, by any sort of artisan or skilled designer. Bezalel and Oholiab, and everyone skillful to whom the Lord has given skill and understanding to know how to do any work in the construction of the sanctuary, shall work in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. And that magnificent passage from Galatians 5. For you are called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become slaves to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment, you shall love your neighbour as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Live by the Spirit, I say. And do not gratify the, gratify the desires of the flesh. For what the flesh desires is opposed to the Spirit, and what the Spirit desires is opposed to the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to prevent you from doing what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not subject to the law. Now, the works of the flesh are obvious. Fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. I am warning you, as I warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, competing against one another, envying one another. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Rather than the Saviour of the Lord on page 86, can I get us to turn to page 101 for our great high priest, a song of praise for ascension. In you, Jesus, Son of God, we have a great high priest. You have passed through the heavens and are seated at the right hand of God on high. Therefore, we hold fast to the faith that we profess. For you are not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses. In every respect, you have been tempted as we are, and yet you did not sin. 
although a son, you learned obedience through what you suffered. And being made perfect, you have become the source of eternal salvation for all who obey you. This gives us every confidence to draw near to the throne of grace. There we receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Page 56 for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As Christ teaches us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our collect this morning is for Rota Waitoa, first Māori to be ordained as a priest. Uh, I forgot to give a wee introduction of him at the start, so let me do that now before we pray our collect. Uh, he was from the Ngāti Ruakawa people of Ōtaki and received his initial Christian education from Octavius Hadfield in Waikanae. Later, he became Bishop Selwyn's constant companion he entered St. John's College in Auckland in the 1840s and was noted for his high standard of knowledge, his sincerity, and his humility. He was ordained on this day in 1853, becoming the firstborn of the Māori clergy and spent the, his whole ministry at uh, Te Kawakawa. Rota's memory and his line are woven into the story of Christianity on the East Coast. He died in 1866. Remembering that, we pray. God of truth and love, by your gracious gift, Rota Waitoa was the first of the Māori people to serve in the ordained ministry of your church. Grant that, by the power of your Holy Spirit, all ministers of your word and sacrament may continue faithful in their ministry among your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Uh, during these 10 days, we'll be using a novena, a, a nine-day prayer cycle uh, that's based on uh, images uh, that we then um, invite the Holy Spirit to uh, read with us. And we've got some readings and some prayers over here. So um, let us begin by simply uh, taking in the image on the left of the screen. And as we have looked with curiosity, uh, now we wait with prayerful expectation, saying, come Holy Spirit, thy kingdom come.
words from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We listen for a word with a willing heart. And we respond by praying to either the collect at the bottom of the page. O oh, welcoming God, you invite us to journey with you through your beautiful world and delight in your dwelling place. So we will enter and exalt, shout and sing, placing our hope in you, our good and forever God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Returning to our prayer books. Loving God, your Son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope, for he is our Redeemer. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all in love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Amen. Do have a very blessed Friday. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to being back at school for our first uh, on-site prayers with uh, the students of St. Mark's. Uh, do pray for me and for them as I go. Otherwise, uh, I shall see you for prayers this time again tomorrow. Ka kite.